Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Tactical Chaos. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, uh, we are going to be going over how to install the Lasers and Lights mod in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now, what this mod does is it has a few different options. One option is it will give you the laser beam with no IR illuminator. The next is it will give you a laser beam with the IR illuminator. Next, it will give you flashlight standalone with no laser and then flashlight plus laser. Now, at the request from one of my viewers, um, he wants to remove the illuminator from the laser, which I totally get, dude. A lot of us are completely annoyed with that illuminator because there's no off and on switch and it is really bright. So when you are rocking your night vision, it is just getting in the way. All right. So what we're going to do right now is go to your Anvil Toolkit. Now, first off, before we get started in this, if you guys are not on Steam, I do not, I cannot guarantee that this will work because Anvil Toolkit works with Steam. Now, if you're on Epic or if you're on Ubisoft, um, you might have a lot of problems with this. Um, so I'm not going to guarantee that. If you guys got any extra information on that, please shoot it in the comment section below and uh, let me know because I would definitely love to share that information with other viewers because I've had a lot of questions on it. Now, let's get started. All right, so what I'm going to do right now, we're just going to close Anvil Toolkit, and I'm going to reopen it so I can show you guys where to start. going to open up Anvil Toolkit. Now, once you get it open, you're going to want to link your game. You link your game right here. Just uh, click that little edit button, and then you go over here to where it says Path to Executable. And then you go find your Ghost Recon file and you link it. Once you have that linked, you just hit OK. Make sure you go to Files right here. Uncheck Use Compression. And then set Compression, uh, compression Ratio to 0. All right, so once you guys have your Ghost Recon files linked uh, to your Anvil Toolkit, what we're going to do next is we're going to go over here to your Ghost Recon Breakpoint game on Steam, your files. We're going to right-click it, go to Properties, go over to Installed Files, Browse, click right there, and we're going to go over here to Battle Eye. Now, uh, some modders say that you should uninstall Battle Eye. I just set mine to silent install. I'll show you guys right now. You're going to see Battle Eye Launcher right here. Just click that. And I set my silent install to zero. Close that down. Let's go back into Anvil Toolkit. All right. We opened up Anvil Toolkit. We are in our breakpoint directory now in our anvil toolkit directory which is communicating with the breakpoint directory and here are our mods so the mod that we are using is like i said the lasers and light mod once you download it extract the files you'll see light v2 now what we're going to be using is just the lasers not lasers and light options and not light options because i just want to remove the illuminator so these two aren't going to be a uh, no consequence to me just this so we're going to open up Data Resources Patch 01 Forge. Let's go down here to the instructions. So step one, we need to unpack Data PC Resources Patch 01 Forge. So let's go down here and do that real quick. It's right here. Just double click it or you can right click and unpack. And then once you're in the uh, resources folder, we're just going to right click uh, on any one of these. Just do the top one and we're going to go open containing folder. All right. Now right here, we're going to right click and create a new folder in your breakpoint directory once you opened it so remember you're going to open up containing folder from anvil and that will open up your breakpoint directory in your actual uh steam files so create this folder we're going to name this extracted now 
Now we're going to take the mod, grab these two folders right here, and we're going to put these into extracted. Now once those are in there, you def you want to go right here, hit the refresh, refresh that real quick, and then back out. Close that down for now. It's going to minus this down so it's not in our way. Minus that down. Less shit on the screen makes it easier for you guys to see. All right, now we're going to see right here. We got the extracted folder here. So we can't see the extracted folder yet. So what we're going to do is hit refresh. And there it is right there. Double click on that. Control A that. So that way they're both highlighted. Right click and then hit repack. And you can see right up here in your Anvil Toolkit console, it says finished repacking data files, successful to, failed zero. That means that those files were successfully installed. We're going to back that out, back out again, and then we're going to repack this folder one more time. Reading files, successfully written forge file. You are good on step one. Now what we're going to do is step two. All right, guys. Now we are going to be going over step two. So this step, we are going to go into our modules here. You got step one, step two. This is where you have all four types of lasers that are in the game. We got the 3X laser. We got the ATPIO laser, the mall, and the pistol laser. So we are going to select one option from each of those and put those into the um, breakpoint directory. Now how we're going to do that is... First, we are going to unpack data PC patch 01 Forge. Let's just go down that. That's right here. Data PC patch 01 Forge. Double click that. And then you see you have all these files. What we're going to do is unpack the uh, DB container entry 0x. All right. The folder is unpacked now, and you see you have all these right here. So, what we're going to do now is, it says unpack, um, open extracted folder, uh, data PC patch 01 forge, then unpack DB container entry 0x, which we just did. Um, then copy the loose files from the mod download into the new unpacked container folder. That you want to back up so what we're gonna have to do is open up the containing folder into our breakpoint directory so once you open up the containing folder in anvil it opens it up in your actual uh, steam files ghost recon folder and this is where we're gonna install the files at so what we're gonna do is take one from the laser we just want laser we don't want these other options we're going to grab just the loose file, drop it in there, replace it, and back out, go to the next one. Dropping that in there, boom, back out. Drop that in there, replace it, back out, we got one more to go, pistol laser, there we go, alright, now we're done with the mod um, file, so what we're going to do is close that down, we're going to refresh this, back out, close that down, refresh it right here, Back out. We're going to repack it. It's reading files and recompressing them right now. And successfully written data file. Let's back out and... Um, we 
we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to repack that one more time just to be sure. Let's close this down. Let's head into the game and let's see if this shit worked. All right, guys, we are back here and we are in game now. We're going to go ahead and turn our night vision on so we could just double check and make sure this laser worked. Make sure there's no illuminator on it. See, you can see that we do have the PEQ on there. Activating night vision. And we have no more illuminator. So that is the process. As long as you guys follow that step by step, you guys will definitely be able to remove your guys' illuminator. If you guys do want any of the other files, um, you could follow the steps that I put in there. But you're going to have to just, you know, read the instructions on which files you want to put in and what they do. This video was specifically just on how to remove the illuminator from your lasers. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. It's Tactical Chaos. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, a like rating would be much appreciated. And if you guys want to subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss out on any more of my Breakpoint mod videos. And if you guys have any requests or if you guys got any issues or any kind of problems that you're going through with the installing mods process then go ahead and get at me in the comment section below I'll be more than happy to help thanks for watching everybody